Hello, this is Lesson 3.10, Patterns with Decimals. Our essential question today is how can you use addition and subtraction to describe a pattern in a sequence? By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe a pattern from a sequence of numbers. Here we have a sequence of numbers, and it goes from 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 to 10, and then what's the next number in this sequence? If you guessed 12, you are correct. Now, this is a pretty simple sequence. For us, though, we're going to be looking at something like this. And this one, you really can't do mental math for it. But we're going to have some strategies on how to figure that out. So let's get out our workbooks, open it to um, number 3, and let's find out what exactly we're doing for each one of these problems. We're going to be writing a rule for the sequence and then finding the unknown term or the unknown number here. So first thing we're going to do is find the rule. And to find the rule, we're going to do step one, which is analyze this and figure out if it's increasing or decreasing with each step. Well, it goes from 31.5 to 25.2 to 18.9 to a blank to 6.3. So the numbers in this are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's step one to analyze increasing or decreasing. If it's decreasing, then we know from one step to the other, we're subtracting. So we do that first step to figure out if we're adding a sub or subtracting from the rule. And then to find out what the rule actually is, we're going to take one number and subtract the neighbor from that. So they have to be next to each other. 31.5 minus 25.2, or you can do 25.2 and subtract 18.9. But in this case, you can't use 6.3 because we don't know what the neighbor is or what is next to it. So we're going to take two of these numbers, and I'll take 31.5 and subtract the one that's right next to it, 25.2. Seems pretty doable. All right, 5 minus 2 is 3. Now, 1 minus 5, that isn't going to work. So I need to regroup. 11 minus 5 is 6. Make sure you have the decimal place in there. And then 2 minus 2 is 0. So the rule is it's subtracting every time because the numbers are getting smaller. And then the second part of this is finding out by how much is it being subtracted from one step to the other. Now, to find the missing number, we're going to take the number that precedes the blank, apply the rule, and it will tell us what the missing number is. So uh, the number that precedes our missing number is 18.9. And if we apply the rule, which is subtract 6.3, we're going to find out what that missing number is. So 18.9 minus 6.3. 9 minus 3 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. 1 minus 0 is 1. Don't forget your decimal place. Uh, so the missing number here, applying the rule, is 12.6. Right, so it's three steps to all of that. Figuring out, are you adding or subtracting? Then subtracting to find out how much you're adding or subtracting. And then applying the rule to find the missing number. Let's try it one more time. Here's problem number four. We have 0 0.25, 0 0.75, a blank. Then 1.75, then 2.25. And in this case, each number is getting larger. So the first part of our rule is we're going to be adding. All right, so we've taken care of number one. Second part is we're going to subtract one from the next uh, in the sequence. As long as they're next to each other, you can do this part. So I'm going to take 0 0.75 and subtract 0 0.25 from that. And for this lesson, we're always going to be subtracting a small number from a large number, even if the large number is second in the sequence. We're just trying to figure out how far apart these numbers are, or what the difference is between, and anytime you want the difference, you use subtraction. So 5 minus 5 is 0, and then 7 minus 2 is 5, 0 minus 0 is 0. So our rule is we're going to add, and then what we're going to add is 0 0.50. All right now to find the missing number, we're going to take the number that precedes the blank there, apply the rule, which is add 
and it will tell us what the missing number is. So I take the 0 0.75, apply the rule, which is add 0 0.50, and it will tell us what the missing number is. 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, and then 1 plus those zeros is 1. Don't forget your decimal. So the missing number, 1.25. Alright, so don't forget to uh, follow all of those rules as you work through the problems in your workbook. So what are we going to be doing out of our workbook? You're going to be working on page 145 and doing problems 5 through 10. Good luck.